Welcome back. You're tuned into Trading Day. Mark is under extreme pressure right now. Earnings not helping. Back at that 9700 mark on the Nifty right now. We'll have to wait and see if in fact we can hold on to that or give that up as we approach closing. Just about 40 minutes to go. Mayuresh Joshi, fund manager at Angel Broking. Also on the phone line with us. Mayuresh, what's the sentiment uh, right now? Uh, does it look like this pain is going to last for some more time or do you feel that maybe the bulk of the selling may be done? What are you uh, picking up from your clients? No, so the bunch of the sentiments definitely have got impacted over the last few days. Uh, so the SEBI order, add to that the geopolitical tensions, margin calls uh, being triggered for uh, leverage position taken at the end. I think all these uh, factors weighing down, and to add to that, all the string of earnings coming through today, I think very disappointing set of numbers in terms of market expectations. Uh, and again, a big weekend around the corner, so nobody's really sure on how the next two days, three days, four days are going to pan out. So I think it's it's that amount of uh, sentimental selling that is probably weighing on the markets at this point of time. It can continue for uh, a very short period of time, but again, I think as uh, new slows start coming out, uh, and again, liquidity remains strong into the markets, I do not perceive a very strong correction into the markets. Um bulk of uh, some of this pressure also uh, due to margin calls, uh, Mayuresh, and because it is Friday and because we are going into uh, some market holidays and bank holidays, uh, could that be just adding on to the pressure and do you think that that will ease come next week? Well, that's what I precisely said. So yes, I think this is one of the incremental reasons as well. I think the sentiments itself are very, very poor. Add to that, I think the positions that uh, are probably getting triggered because of margin calls at broker ends, I think that is not aiding uh, uh, the fall, the accentuated fall that you're probably seeing in a lot of these mid-cap and small pack stocks are being thrown around at this point of time. Uh, so yes, I think uh, the, the overall sentiments probably have become a little bit uh, but I, as I said, I think I do not perceive a huge correction onto the market. Uh, as things stabilize over the next few days, uh, I think we might just consolidate uh, at lower levels. Uh, but the liquidity, as I said, is extremely strong and buoyant. Uh, and again, if uh, qualitative stocks have corrected, I think in this carnage, uh, I think a small accumulation of uh, these qualitative stocks uh, do become a very good buying opportunity for long-term investors. So still a buy on dips market, would you say? Yes, but again, you have to be selective uh, uh, in, in these markets. I think you just can't go down there and buy anything that you want. So qualitative stocks, uh, which have probably corrected out of the large cap, or qualitative mid caps, which have uh, corrected, uh, but the earnings outlook soon seems very, very plausible and uh, and strong over the next few quarters. I think, yes, I think a small bit of accumulation, uh, uh, if the markets do correct further, uh, I think that can be a good starting point for long-term investors. Would you say pharma would continue to remain weak or are we approaching some kind of a bottom right now? Or is the new reality still to be priced in? No, so the reality was always there that uh, FI18 is uh, this fiscal is going to be a washout here in terms of uh, reporting both on the top line front, the remediation cost, the remedial issues is going to take a huge hit in terms of the EBITDA of pharma companies. The pricing pressure specifically in the U.S. markets uh, have already taken a toll, but I think that uh, pain is not going to go away so easily. So unless pharma companies uh, were investing heavily into R&D in making these niche complex generics, uh, I think those approvals as they start coming through with uh, FDA uh, approvals coming through over the next few quarters, I think those can be trigger points. But FI18 to a large bit has been factored in to be a washout here. The earnings have been downweighted for a whole host of pharma companies. So I think you need to have, uh, as, as I've always been maintaining, that a two or a three year perspective for pharma companies from from, uh, these levels or, or this time zones uh, because FI19 is where you'll see a slow recovery happening. FI20 probably is when you see over the next two years uh, that earnings pickup actually start happening because of all their R&D expenditure that they've done getting into the pipeline and probably then started generating, generating revenues. Uh, so the painful times might continue for at least a couple of quarters right. for pharma companies. Fair point, uh, Mayuresh. I appreciate you joining in for a quick check on how markets are shaping up. Uh, the SBI management is still talking at the press conference, talking about asset quality right now. Let's cut to